Hello, welcome to my channel House of Leo. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this sunburst granny square. This is my version of the sunburst granny square. You will often see them using a puff stitch, but I've used a cluster stitch. It's just personal preference. I like them this way, so I'm going to show you how to do them this way. So this tutorial is suitable for beginners, but I would recommend that you already know a few stitches. Um, so I'd say intermediate, intermediate beginners. We're doing treble crochet, double treble crochet, half treble crochet and cluster stitches. So if you know those or feel confident that you can give those a go, then this video is for you. If you're an absolute total beginner, I would recommend starting with my granny square video, which I shall link below and then work your way up to this one. Using a six millimeter and hook and um, double knit acrylic yarn. I have links to where you can purchase those below. And I just wanted to show you quickly how I have used one of these squares in a bag pattern. I'll show a picture of the bag on the screen. So they're really lovely for using for all sorts of projects. You can make cardigans, blankets, bags, anything you can make with a granny square you can make with these. And I think they're just a little bit snazzier than your basic granny square. So let's get going. So to start this square, we're going to use a magic circle. We take our yarn, we wrap it round our fingers, pull the yarn through the loop as if you're going to make a slip knot. But instead of tightening the knot, we take our working yarn and we just do one chain through the loop. We now have a magic circle. We're going to chain again to create our very first stitch. And then we are going to treble crochet 15 times into this magic circle. So we end up, if we include our chain, with 16 stitches. So to treble crochet, we yarn over, put through the magic circle, pull it back through. You have three loops on your hook. You pull through two, you pull through two, you yarn over, back through your magic circle. As you're going through your magic circle, keep the tail end so you're going over the tail end and that keeps it inside your stitches. Pull it through, you have three. Pull it through the two, you have two on your hook, pull it through two. So now you have three stitches. I shall do one more. You yarn over through your magic circle. You have three on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two. So I'm going to do the rest until we get to number 16 and then I'll come back to you if you want to pause it now to catch up with me and we'll come back in a moment. Okay, so I now have 16 treble crochets on my magic circle. We're going to pull the circle tight. You pull your tail end through. That just tightens the circle. And now we are going to do a slip stitch into the very top of the first chain we made. It can be fiddly to get it in there, but it will go with a little persuasion. You pull through, so you have two loops on your hook, and then you just pull that loop through first loop through the second loop and that is your slip stitch. Okay so now because we're going to change colour what I like to do is snip the threads and weave them in. I like to weave them in as I go. I'm, I have experienced weaving them in all at the end of the project and it was not fun. I recommend doing this as you go. So I'm going to snip that it through and then just sew in your ends. 
I'll come back. You don't want to see me doing that. Okay, so I've weaved in my ends. We are now going to go for our next colour, which was the blue. We're going to create a slip knot. So a bit like the magic circle we're at this point, but instead of then chaining to create a magic circle, you just pull. Tighten it onto your hook. We are now working in between each of these. So just pick a spot and pop your hook through the stitches. You're going to pull up through, you have two on your hook, pull through one, you have two on your hook, pull through both. Yarn over, we go through the space again, the same space, pull it up, you have three on your hook, you pull through two, you now have two on your hook, you leave those, yarn over again, Push through the same space, pull it back up. There's now four on your hook. You pull through two. You have three stitches, one, two, three, and three loops on your hook. Pull through all three and chain one, which just closes the little cluster you've just made. For that first stitch, we had three loops on our hook that we pulled through all through through all three the next ones are going to have four loops just because it's the fir very first stitches our little chain that we did there but these ones have a proper stitch so we're going to yarn over through the next space yarn over pull back through you have three on the loop hook pull through two leaving two on the hook Yarn over again through the same space, pull up, you have four loops on your hook, pull through just the first two, leaving three. Now we only have two stitches but we have three loops so we need to do what yarn over, one more stitch, pull through the first two and that leaves four on our hook. We're going to go through all four and chain one. So as I said, this first one you pull through three and chain one. All the others you'll pull through four. So we'll do that one more time. Yarn over through the next stitch. You have three on your hook. Just go through the first two, leaving two on the hook. Yarn over through, pull it back through, you have four on your hook, go through the first two, leaving three on your hook, yarn over, through for the third time, you have five on your hook, go through the first two, leaving four on your hook, go through all four and chain one to close. So we're going to do this in every space around until you have 16 clusters. I shall come back to you when we get there if you want to pause it and catch up with me. Let's do that now. Okay, so I've done 16 all the way around. Now we are going to stitch into our top stitch there. We're going through, pulling it back through. You have two on your loop hook, two loops on your hook. I always get tongue tied when I say that. We're going to take our first loop and pull it through the second loop. And now I'm going to snip that and weave in my ends. So round number two is complete. We're now going to do round number three in the yellow. It's the same as this stitch, but instead of doing three stitches per space, we're going to do four. So we take our next colour. I love these colours. You find I probably use them a lot in my videos. I bought a ton of this yarn, so I have to keep using these colours. I'm excited to be able to start using new colours. What are your favourite colours to crochet with? 
I do love the yellow and the orange. Those are definitely my happy colours. What do you like to use? I'd love to hear what you guys are, are making these with. And also, what are you going to turn your squares into? Are you going to do a bag? Are you going to do a blanket? Are you doing a cardi? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you're up to. So we're going to pick a space again. Try not to pick the same. Oops. Try not to pick the same space to where we just finished. Where did we finish? There? Was it there? I can't even tell. Oh, there. So try not to go into that same space. Just do it in a different spot. If you do it in a different spot each time, then it's not fragile in one place. It's actually more secure. So we're going to go through, pull it through, pull it through one, oops, pull it through both, yarn over, through the same space, yarn over, you have three on your hook, pull up, you have two, yarn over, through the same space, Pull through the first two, you have three on your hook. So this is where we finished on this row, but we're doing an extra stitch on this, this row. So do it again through the first two, you have four on your hook. So like I said on the first row, this first cluster will have four on the hook. The next clusters will have five on the hook. Pull through all four. Yarn over, through the next space, pull it through, just the first two. Just the next two. It's two stitches. Third stitch, through those, you have four on your hook, and one more. Yarn over, pull it through, you have two four, six on your hook, pull through the first two, leaves you with five on your hook, pull through all five and chain closed. Yarn over through the next space, One more. Through all five. Chain closed. So I'm going to continue round. If you want to pause this now, I shall show you when I get back to the end. So I've done my 16 all the way around. Each one of these has four stitches. And we're just going to slip stitch into the first stitch here so you have two loops on your hook and you just pull the first loop through the second loop give it a snip pull your end through and weave in your ends so we have our lovely circle now we need to turn it into a square I've got my next colour on my hook. We're going to choose any point. We're going to put our hook through and we're going to chain two. One, two. Yarn over and do a treble crochet into the same space. Yarn over treble crochet into the same space. So what we have created here is a cluster of three, like a granny stitch. So you've got your chain and your th two trebles creating three stitches. That is classed as this stitch here. So we now need to do a corner. To do a corner, we're going to do a double treble. So to do a double treble, you yarn over, yarn over again, 
through your stitch space so you have four loops on your hook you go through the first two you go through the next two and you go through the last two so we're going to do that again yarn over yarn over again through the space you have four on your hook you go through the first two you have three on your hook you go through the next two you have two on your hook you go through both of those so we need three of these so we're going to do that again yarn over twice through the chain space four on your hook go through two three on your hook go through two two on your hook go through both now because this is a corner we need two clusters into the same space with a chain in between so we're going to chain one and we're going to do three more double trebles into this space yarn over twice through the same space again pull through two at a time yarn over twice same one again go through two go through two go through two yarn over yarn over through the space go through two go through two go through two so this creates our corner so now we need to go along the edge we're going to do a treble crochet into this next stitch so we yarn over through go through two go through two need three of those in that space and one more This next space would be the middle so we have our longest stitch in the corner our medium stitch either side and our middle stitch which is the shorter stitch so for that one we're doing a half treble so we're going yarn over through we have three on the hook we're going through all three at the same time yarn over three on your hook go through all three yarn over three on your hook go through all three that's a half treble now we're going to do another treble yarn over through two and then two yarn over two two yarn over two two so that is our first corner and our first side completed now for the next corner so we've done trebles in this one and for the corner we're doing double trebles again so that's yarn over twice into your corner through two through two through two yarn over twice oops through two, oh, I'm having troubles with this one, through two, through two, and one more time, so that's the first half of your corner, you chain one, making the point of your corner, and then you do the second half of your corner, so three more double trebles, you have corner number two so we're going to do the same again it's treble crochet half treble crochet treble crochet and then another corner you do that all the way around you 
can pause that now to catch up with me. I'm going all the way around back to here where we I'll show you how to join the next colour. So I've made it round this far. I have all my four corners with the double trebles with the chain in between. I've done my treble crochet on this side so now I need to do my half treble crochet into the middle of the side. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of this one here. I'm going to cut and weave in my ends, but as you can see, you have your long stitches in the corner, your medium stitches either side of your shortest stitch, which is in the middle, which creates the square from a circle. So I shall trim and weave in these ends and show you the last colour. Okay, so we're going to start on our next colour or our last colour, the orange. We're going to start this one from a corner point. So we're going to put our hook into the corner. Excuse me, Mr. Tail End. Pull it through both, put it through that one, and that's our first chain. We are going to do treble crochets all the way around for this one. So we're going to do three treble crochets here. Now, as this is a corner, what we're making here is half a corner. We shall do the other half when we get round the other side. So this first one is just half a corner. And we're going into our next space. And every single one of these are the same. They're all trebles. You don't need to make any longer or shorter as we've achieved that on the last row. So we're going all the way around doing treble stitches. Three in each space. So this is where it starts to become essentially a granny square, the same as a granny square. I'm going to end on this row, but you can keep going. You could actually make these as big as you like. I have a cushion cover that I have started with this circle and then continued out as a massive granny square. And it looks really pretty. It's just nice to have um, a little detail right in the center of the cushion. You can also make these in a single colour, which is what I've done for that cushion cover, and I really love it. It's in a creamy colour. It looks really nice. So we've made it to our next corner. We're going to do three trebles. And because it's a corner, we need to chain one we need to do three trebles back in to that same space. So there's six in total with a chain in between. And that's what gives us our corner. So I'm going to continue on round I have sped up on this round. I do apologise. I'm keen to um, to show you what it looks like. I'm going to continue round and catch up with you at the end there. So I've made it round to my first corner again, and as I said, we just we just did half a corner there. So we need to do three more trebles into this space. And then we chain one as the corner turning corner is a chain and we slip stitch into that last stitch there. We cut and weave in our ends and there we have it. Our lovely pretty sunburst square. 
Starburst, no, Sunburst Square, sorry. Um, but my version of it, because I haven't used the puff stitch, I've used the cluster stitches. I really love these. I use them a lot. I'm going to show you some pictures now of my designs that I've used them in. If you're interested in these patterns, I have linked them below. They are my patterns. They're paid patterns. It's how I feed my family. So if you're interested, go get those. They're really lovely. I write all my patterns with full descriptions. Um, in full sentences, I don't abbreviate as I find that really difficult to understand myself and expect others also find that quite difficult to understand because it looks like gibberish. Um, and there's full photo descriptions. So you have this video to refer to and you can use the pattern to create yourself some lovely things. So thanks for watching, guys. Do subscribe, comment, like all those things because it does help my channel to grow and I always really appreciate that. I'd love to hear what you're going to make with these. Let me know and I shall see you again soon for another tutorial. Have a lovely day.